Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over LinkedIn ads performance by device type. And first, I'm gonna go over a few notes uh, that you should know when you're breaking your campaign groups, your campaigns, or your ads down by device type. And then I'm gonna go into the account and show you how to do that and go over some takeaways that you can get when looking at the performance by device type. So let's jump into it. So when you do the breakdown and you do impression by device type, uh, you'll see the breakdown by desktop web, mobile app, in mobile web, and sometimes you'll see an uncategorized category. So that just means that uh, LinkedIn couldn't find a category for that device when the impression occurred. And um, I've had some campaigns where there's a lot of uncategorized there. So if you see that, uh, don't worry, that's that's just part of it. They don't know all the devices when someone um, when an impression occurs. There are some metrics that aren't available. So um, there's some conversion metrics like click conversions and view conversions that aren't available. Uh, reach and average frequency aren't, aren't available and cost per 1000 members accounts created is not available either. So it is nice to be able to see click conversions and view conversions um, within ad platforms by device, but you're not gonna be able to see that here, but you can still get other takeaways by looking at other metrics. And then also you can't target by device in LinkedIn. You can see the breakdown, but you can't make adjustments based off of the device type. There are some device member traits that are available and I'll show you what those look like, but those behave differently. Those are more based on um, if LinkedIn knows they own or use a particular device, you can target them, but it doesn't mean that your ad's gonna show to just people that have that device. I'll show you what I mean by that, but, um, and then, the image and video aspect ratios can impact which device gets an impression. So if you're running vertical aspect ratios, those won't show on desktop, they'll only show on mobile. So if you are if you have vertical aspect ratio images, single images and uh, video ads, those won't show on desktop. So that can skew things. If you're only running vertical images, you'll only see mobile performance. And then audience targeting could also impact things um, depending on your audience, your industry. Um, some users are gonna be more likely to be on mobile apps and some users might uh, prefer a desktop or just depending on the industry, they might be using a desktop more. So that can impact things a little bit as well. Uh, now we're gonna go into an ad account and I'm gonna review the performance by device and go over some takeaways that you can get. So I'm in the LinkedIn campaign manager and I'm on the campaigns tab. And then I went to the breakdown section and I uh, selected impression device type. And you can see, I can see the device type, d desktop and web and mobile app for this campaign. And then this other campaign also has mobile web here. So I can see the different devices. And we're gonna be looking at this top campaign. It's a video based campaign. So I'm also so filtering on the video columns here. So I can see the video metrics for this particular campaign. And what I like to do is just review at the campaign level and also at the ad level what performance looks like. So for this video campaign at the top here, I can see there was a little less spend on desktop web, so more spend on mobile app. You can see the mobile app got more impressions and more plays uh, than desktop. And a play, that just means the video started. Um, it doesn't count as a view. A view here means that they watch at least two or more seconds of the video. So when we look at the view metric, uh, we see that the views are somewhat similar. Um, the view rate is actually higher because there were fewer impressions on desktop. So we have a higher view rate on desktop. So we do have 22 chargeable clicks that occurred on mobile app. So interesting to note that. And then if I look at the view percentages, uh, typically with video campaigns, um, we wanna look at you know what's our cost per view and uh, what is the, the video completion rate and how much of the video are, are users watching. So we can see that, uh, again, desktop had a higher view rate. It has a higher number of users watching at least 25% of the video and a higher number of users who watch the full video. So the completion rate is higher. And again, with video, we're paying for views and we want to see people watching more of the video because that allows us to retarget them and um, you know further qualify people. If someone watched you know, a full video or 75% of the video, uh, they're gonna be, in most cases, a little more qualified than if someone watched 25% of the video. Um, at least they might be a little more brand aware, so that can help with our retargeting efforts. You can retarget based off of the percentage of the video they watched. So we can see that desktop does have a higher rate of users watching the full videos and more percentage of the videos. Now you will have to keep in note, um, and you wanna look at this by ads as well, because if you're running vertical and horizontal based videos, 
mobile is only going to get the vertical base videos base videos so if you have different aspect ratios within a campaign um, that can influence it so it might not be apples to apples when you're comparing the performance between desktop and mobile so that's just one thing to know so now after looking at that overall the cost per video completion is lower on desktop because more you we spent less and we have more people watching the full video um, which is helpful to know now i'm going to go into the ads for this video so i selected this campaign and i go into the ads so then i'm looking at the ads for some of these campaigns so you can see these are um, i do have the ad blurred out here but uh, this top row is desktop and this bottom um, row is mobile here so we are these are horizontal based videos so we're getting spent on both desktop and mobile and again um, we're getting more views on desktop here with these horizontal based ads and we're getting more people to watch them so we spent 112 dollars here and we had 433 views but we only had two people watching 25 percent of it and we had 32 watching um, most of it here so that's interesting. Now I'm going to go to some other videos that are vertical based. So now this video is vertical based and it's only showing on mobile and it had 16 views at 25%. So um, the vertical based aspect ratio of videos, they're getting uh, more, let's see. So the vertical based videos are getting views um, at 25% and some completions there as well. Some of these were just recently added in the account. Um, so we're getting completion on those mobile videos. So one thing that we could potentially test for this account is adding in um, a few more additional horizontal based videos because we do see that um, they do get some good completions on uh, desktop which is good and some of these videos for this client they're actually quite long so seeing you know seven users out of this time period watching the video is actually pretty good because they're around um, seven to nine minutes so so we have users that are engaged in watching the whole thing which is good for our strategy here so what we could do again is add in some more of these uh, horizontal based images and test that and overall watch our cost per video completion so if we can improve our cost per video completion or our cost per um, users watching at least 50 percent of the the video that's going to be good because we want to retarget people that are watching at least you know 50 percent more of the video so if we can get a cheaper cost per 50 percent video completions and overall just a, a cheaper cost per video completion that could be interesting so if we add in some more horizontal images or horizontal videos we could see if that lowers the cost per video completion um, so that's something interesting that we could test. And again, all this is going to lead to seeing if you can tweak anything and A-B test things. The main takeaways, since you can't target by device type within LinkedIn, are, you know, is there anything, if you're seeing you get a lot of mobile traffic, um, how does your mobile experience look? If you're sending people to your website after they click a LinkedIn ad, is your, your website's mobile experience good? If you're if your website is only looks good and only functions well on desktop and you're getting a lot of mobile traffic, that could be an issue. You might see that with fewer conversions coming through overall, but if you improve your mobile experience, uh, potentially you'll see some more, um, you know, better performance there. Uh, so that's one takeaway. Another takeaway would be, you know, if you're getting a lot of mobile traffic, most of your spend is coming from mobile apps. Make sure your, your creatives look good on a mobile device so you can look at your phone and make sure the, the creatives, you know, the text, the call to actions, if they're overlaid on the creative, that it looks good for someone viewing it on mobile. And then consider testing um, just, yeah, different creatives. Uh, consider testing potentially horizontal videos if you're just running vertical aspect ratios and they're only going to be showing up on mobile. Try adding in some horizontal images or videos so you can get some traffic on desktop and see what performance looks like there. So those are my main takeaways of what you can do here and what you can look at. Um, and then I just wanted to make a note on one of the targeting options. So if you're in your campaign manager and you go to member traits, um, so you're going to interest and traits and then member traits in your targeting section, you will see this device preferences. So it says reach members based on devices they may own or use on a regular basis. And then if you click that, you have desktop, laptop users and mobile users. So this has Android users in here and on the desktop side, it has Linux, Mac and Windows. So this isn't necessarily device type targeting. This is just saying, um, you know, reach members who own or use a Mac desktop or laptop. So they might own a Mac 
laptop, but they still might be using LinkedIn on their phone. LinkedIn could know, you know, because they signed in on a Mac device before that they potentially own uh, a Mac device. And uh, they still could be, you know, using their phone to go into um, to LinkedIn to view their profile. So it's not targeting that by device. It's again, reaching members who own or use a Mac desktop or device or laptop. So uh, desktop or laptop. So I, I haven't tested these device preferences out, but they are different from strictly like if you're familiar with Google ads, you can make adjustments um, on device type. So mobile, uh, tablet and desktop. And this behaves a little differently. This is more preferences based off of what they use and own, but doesn't mean you're just serving the ad on that device. So I just wanted to make sure um, I called that out here. But um, other than that, yeah, those were the main things I wanted to cover with device type. So consider, you know, testing some different uh, creatives, making sure your experiences on desktop and mobile look well and uh, function well for users. The navigation works well. And yeah, just make sure you take a look at your impressions by device type. And if you have any questions on that or anything around LinkedIn ads, please put them in the comments section. And thanks for watching and have a great day.